A for antediluvian, B for bombastic, C for camaraderie, D for diaphanous, E for epistolary, F for flabbergasted, which is I am right now. Looking at me, you can see that. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Sanchali Arora welcoming you all to the finale of the middle category of the Mind Wars Spell B 2022. <laughs> Mind Wars is India's most popular quizzing platform with over 25 lakh students and teachers from over 36,000 schools across all Indian states and union territories playing quizzes on it, of course. Mind Wars has gamified school curriculum and general knowledge, allowing users to improve their knowledge levels in a fun manner. Mind Wars activities encompass quizzing, debating, Olympiads, and now a spell bee as well. The Mind Wars spell bee is a unique concept in that it aims to be inclusive, universally accessible, as well as challenging, whilst providing a new platform where school children can compete and, of course, win. The Spell Bee provides spelling challenges, calibrated for children of different age categories. The idea is of course simple to help kids familiarize themselves with the often tenuous connections between English pronunciation and spelling and learn new words, context and of course usages. This would ultimately improve their overall English language and communication skills. It will help them in their future education and eventually in their careers as well. Thousands participated and after the intra-school round, school champions and runners-up participated in an inter-school round from where the top eight participants made it to today's grand finale. Come on everyone! So let's quickly introduce them one by one. Our first finalist is Mevin Sajio, student of class 7 from Don Bosco School. Our second finalist is Maisha Fatima, a student of class 7 from Mayur School. Coming from Kulachi Hansraj Model School, our third finalist is Agastya Sharma from class 7. Our fourth finalist is Kuval Anand, a student of class 6 from Sri Venkateshwar International School, Dwarka. Our fifth finalist is a student of class 7 in Ryan International School, Vasan Kunj, Caleb Hangla. Coming now to our sixth finalist, Amantika Mehta, a student of class 7 from Mayur School, Noida. Our seventh finalist for today is Vihan Dubey from the Khetan School, Noida, where he studies in class 7. Our eighth finalist is 12-year-old Bhuvika from Class 7, Sri Venkateshwar International School. Give it up for all the finalists. These are our eight finalists of the middle category who have qualified after multiple rounds of the B. It is my great pleasure now to introduce the one we have been waiting for, the word master of this show, the voice of Indian sport, the one and only Charu Sharma. Thank you very much, Anjali. Great to be here. So, can't wait to hear from you. Well, yeah, I'd love to start right away. But I will congratulate all eight of you. I know you've come through a long and tough process. So, in my eyes, all of you are winners already. No question about it. But uh, allow me a moment to talk about the fact that Mind Wars has acquired for themselves a fabulous name in the world of quizzing, uh, adding to the knowledge of our entire country, the thousands and thousands of children. And because of this new journey of the Mind Wars Spell B, they are, well, we all are embarking on another fantastic journey because that's very close to my heart, that of language and through that communication. Because the increase in your vocabulary, you're learning all sorts of words, and I hope you'll continue to all this time, will lead you to more accurate communication, which avoids misunderstandings. And hopefully, you'll remember this day very fondly, and maybe star for yourself, your families, your school, and who alone knows in the future, maybe for the country as well. So good luck to all of you. All right. The final is of three rounds, and I will read out the rules of round one to you. Your eight at the end of this round, only four will remain, sadly. So if you're ready, uh, we begin with the scores of zero. So everybody is on a level playing field. Each finalist will have the opportunity to spell five words. I will ask those words continue consecutively to one participant at a time. And that participant, of course, does have the option of getting various assists. For instance, 
You could ask for me to pronounce it again, which I probably will anyway, for the meaning of the word, if you wish, or uh, the word to be used in a sentence, also perhaps the origin of the word or part of the speech. Remember, the words will be asked continuously, one at a time. No passes, no negative points in case, God forbid, you get the spelling of a word wrong. I hope that's very clear. In the end, if we need to, we'll have a tie break and I'll explain about that later. Thank you very much, Charu. It's time now to go straight ahead to round one. We'll begin with contestant number one, Mevin Saji. Your first word is Paleolithic. Paleolithic. Can you repeat the word again? Paleolithic. Can I have the meaning, please? Yes, denoting the early phase of the Stone Age when primitive stone implements were used. Paleolithic. P A L A E O L I T H I C. Paleolithic. Okay, your next word is measles. Measles. Correct. Can measles. I have the meaning? Yes, an infectious, infectious viral disease causing fever and a red rash, which I hope you never get. Measles. Measles. M-E-A-S-L-E-S. -E -E Measles. Correct. Let's move on to your third word. Triumphant. Triumphant. T-R-I-U-M-P-H-A. N T triumphant. That's good. Your fourth word. Borscht. Can you repeat? Yes. Borscht. Borscht. Can I have the Borscht. Meaning? Would you like a meaning? It's a soup made with beetroot. Borscht. 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 B O S H T. Most. Perhaps not, but we'll get to that. And your final word, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. E-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-N-E-U-R. -E 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 entrepreneur. Very well done. So, Mevin, uh, we're through with your five words. Masha Fatima, if you're ready. Here are your five words. The first, catalyst. What? Can you repeat? Catalyst. Catalyst. C A T A. Catalyst. C A T A L Y S T. Correct. The next word, obesity. O B E S I T Y. You got that very quickly. Jubilant. J U B I L A N T. Correct as well. Arabiata. What can you repeat? Arabiata. A R A B I A T A. And your final word veterinarian. Veterinary. V E T E R I N A R Y. Okay. Well, that concludes your five words. Our third contestant is Agastya Sharma. If you're ready, your first word is spectator. S P E C T A T O R. Your second word, Agastya, is rabies. R A B I E S. Your third word is victorious. V I C T O R I O U S. And your fourth word, baguette. Could you please repeat the word? Baguette. B A G U E T T E. We have another word for you. Pharmacist. Pharmacist. P H A R M A C I S T. I put my hands together. Well done. 
Okay. For Koval, if you're ready, your first word is elliptical. E L L I P T I C A L. Correct. The second word migraine. M I G R A I N E. Very good. The third word conqueror. C O N Q U E R O R. Hmm. Your fourth word paella. Could you please repeat it? Paella. Could I have the meaning? Yes. It's a one pot dish of rice, meat, and vegetables from Spain. P A Y E A. Try. And your final word is bookkeeper. B O O K K E E P R P E R. I'll take that. Well done. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to player number five, Caleb Hanglua. Your first word in the order of things. Chronology. So could you repeat? Chronology. C H R O N O L O G Y. Next. Asthma. A S T H M A. Correct. We move on to medallion. M E D A L L I O N. Fourth word. Tortilla. T O R T I L L A. The final word. Lifeguard. L I F E G U A R D. And that, according to me, is another max. Well done. Let's move on to you, Avantika. Word number one. Amenities. A M E N E T I E S. Your second word is epilepsy. E P I L I P S Y. Your third word is vanquish. V a N Q U I S H. Correct. Your fourth is matcha. M A T C H A. Correct. And your final word? Auctioneer. A U C T I O N E E R. Correct. Fairly well done. Okay, let's move on to. Our seventh participant, Vihan, if you're ready. Here we go. Your first word, annexation. Annexation is A-N-N-E-X-A-T-I-O-N, annexation. Correct. Your second word, autism. Autism is A-U-T-I-S-M. Well done indeed. Your third word, Glorious. G L O R I O U S. And that brings us to your fourth word, which is lasagna. L A S A G N A. Lasagna. That's very well done so far. And your final word, hope you become that one day. Who knows? Filmmaker. F. Sorry, can you repeat the word? Filmmaker. F I L M M A K E R. You, my friend Vihan, are joining the list of those who have done extremely well so far. Well done. <laughs> and that brings us to our eighth and last finalist. Definitely not the least. Bhavika, if you're ready, here we go. Your first word. Symbiotic. Could I have the meaning? Symbiotic meaning involving interaction between two different organisms living in close physical association. Symbiotic. S Y M B I O T I C. There it is. Takes a bit of perseverance. Well done. Your next word insomnia. Could I have the meaning? Habitual sleeplessness, inability to sleep, insomnia. 
I N S O M N I A. Done. Your third word is Captain C. Could you uh, tell the meaning? The position or period of command over a team, ship, or aircraft. Captain C. C A P T A I N S E A. Your fourth word is hmm, piquant. Could you repeat the word? Piquant. Could I have the meaning, please? Pleasantly pungent, sharp, spicy, perhaps, and also used to describe somebody's looks or behavior. P E C C A N T. And your final word, actuary. A C T U A R Y. And that's a good finish. And it's time to call Sanchali again to give you the final scores of round one. So I have the names of the qualifiers here with me, those who will be going into round two. Are we ready? So straight away, final four are those who have clearly made it to the next round. Let's hear it for first and foremost, Vihan Dube, Agastya Sharma. Caleb Hanglua. And now for the fourth one, it's gonna be any of you. We actually have a tiebreaker. Oh, we do? Yes. Okay. So we will be deciding by sudden death. So let me announce who is going to, into the next round or competing for the tiebreaker. It will be Mevin Sajri and Kuval Anand. So let's hear it for both these students, please. Okay then, let's break the tie between Mevin and uh, Koval, correct? Here we are. Simple tie break where I will ask you the spelling of a word. The two of you, well, all of you, have a buzzer on your table. As soon as I finish asking you the spelling of the word, the first one to press the buzzer, the buzzer will light up to give me an indication who pressed it first. I will ask you to then spell that word. If you spell it correctly, you are through to the final. If you don't, or if you hesitate and don't give me the answer, then the other person makes it through to the final. So be quick, but be decisive as well. And here we are. Dismissive. Ooh, he's got that buzzer first. Let's have the spelling, let's have it correct. D-I-S. M-I-S-S-I-V-E. We'll take you through to the second round. Congratulations. Well done. Bad luck. Mevin, bad luck. Mevin, uh, Maisha, Avantika, and Bhuvika, thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for joining us here as a part of the very first edition of Mind Wars Spell Bee Delhi 2022. Thank you. We'll request you to kindly step off the stage. Congratulations to our four contestants who are making it now to round two. And I'll read out the rules very quickly. Each contestant will have to spell up to 10 words, but this time within 60 seconds. I can only remind you that those 60 seconds go by very quickly. The 10 words will be asked in a continuous manner to each participant. And uh, you are at liberty to ask for word-related information or assists. But remember, that eats up time. You can pass a word. I'll try and get back to that word if the 60 seconds have not elapsed. I'll try and be very quick, as quick as I possibly can be. I hope that's clear to all four of you. Okay, good. The one to my far left, Augustia. So if you're ready, your time begins now. Forbid. F-O-R-B-I-D. Echoes. E-C-H-O-S. Cashew. C A S H E W. Freckles. F R E C K L E S. Putrid. Could you repeat the word? Putrid. P U C. Pass. Pass. Baroque. B A R O C. Jeopardy. J E O P A R D Y. Conscious. C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S. 
Credulous. C C R E D U L O U S. Hereditary. H R E. We'll give you time to finish it because we began. We'll allow you to finish it. Hereditary. H E R E D I T A R Y. On the bell. So well done. Okay. Let's move on to Koval Anand. Your time begins now. Syrup. S Y R U P. Odious. O D I O U S. Meadow. M E A D O W. Syringe. S Y R I N G E. Hubris. Repeat. Hubris. H U B R I C E. Cassette. C A S S E T. Luscious. L U S C I O U S. Emollient. Pass. Abscissa. A B C S E S S O R. Susceptible. S U S C E P T I B L E. What did you pass? Let's get back to emollient. E M O L I E N T. Hmm. That completes my words. Also completes your time. Caleb, ten words, sixty seconds. If you're ready, your time begins now. Degree. D E G R E. Alcove. So could you repeat it, sir? Alcove. A L C O V E. Subtle. Subtle. S U T T L E. Oh, S U B T L E, sir. S U B T L E. I will take that. Dungeon. D U N G E O N. Debris. D E B R I S. Misogyny. M I S O G Y N Y. Conceive. C O N C E I V E. Mustache. M U S T A C H E. Apparatus. A P P A R A T U S. Chauvinism. S H O V E M I S M. But well done. Here we are. Our final contestant from the second round is uh, Vihan. Yes, sir. And your time begins now. Coined. Sorry. Coined. C O I N E D. Jargon. J A R G O N. Scheme. S C H E M E. Acronym. A C R O N Y M. Squalid. Sorry. Squalid. S Q U A I L L O N. I'll repeat the word. Squalid. Pass. Pituitary. Sorry. Pituitary. P E T U T I A R Y. Symphony. S Y M P H O N Y. Relevance. L R E L E V A N C E. Impetuous. Impetuous. I M P. E T U O U S. Millennium. M I L L E N I U M. Okay, your time was up a while ago. Thank you for the clarification, and that ends our second round. Now this is all going to be very, very close, very exciting. I'm going to ask our lovely host to come in once again and let you know what's going on. So it's always fun to get the scores right here. I have the names right here with me, who will be making it to the next round, which is the final round. Okay, a clear go ahead into round three is our, of course, speed train, express train right here. Caleb, that's obviously you. Well done, Caleb. Give it up for him, please. Great job. The next person who will be going into round two. Before that, let me thank the person who hasn't been able to make it. Unfortunately, Koval, you don't make it to the next round, but I'm so glad you made it till here. You were really good. Let's give it up for Koval, too. Thank you, Kuval. Okay, ready, boys? So, the points that I have right here. Vihan, you are at 70 points. And Agastya, you are at 70 points as well. That means we have a tie-break ah. situation here, Charu. 
where I hand it over to you. Thank you. Augusta, Vihan, a tie break is very simple. I will ask you one word, press the buzzer, the first one to press the buzzer. We'll have to answer. You answered correctly, you're through to round three. If you're not, or you answered incorrectly, or you don't answer at all, then the other person goes through. Is that clear, both of you? Okay. And here is your word. Circumstances. Ah, I see that the buzzer for Vihan lit up earlier. So Vihan, if you'll give me the meaning, I uh, beg your pardon, the spelling of circumstances. Circumstances. C I R C U M S T A N C E S. We'll take you through round three. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations, Vihan and Agastya. Thank you very much. So let's give it up for firstly Agastya and Kuval. Thank you very much for joining us here and being a part of this very first edition. It was great having you. All the best for the future. It happens. It's okay. So there we are with our final two contestants who are making it now to the very final round. So Caleb and Vihan, congratulations. You are in to the third and final round. Uh, both of you will be asked 10 words each. However, the round is based on themes. Both of you have theme cards, so this is how it will play out. I'm gonna ask one of you to choose your first theme, and the other, the second theme, and so on and so forth, till five themes each, which is equaling 10 themes, are read out. And from those themes, will we pick the questions. Of course, if there is to be a tiebreaker, we'll handle that later. Each correct word is equal to 10 points and the words will be identical for both the contestants. Now once the themes are chosen, which is going to happen very shortly, the first contestant will have to spell the 10 words back to back, while the opponent will be sequestered in a soundproof room, where you have no access to the stage action sound or any other communication device. So you'll be kept away for a while, and then we'll flip. The first contestant will go into that soundproof room, and the one who went there first will come in and answer or give us the spelling for the 10 words. Is that clear, easy? It's not very complicated. So what we will do is begin with the selection of your themes. Caleb, if I can begin with you, your first theme. Civics. Sir, food and drink. Science. English language. Geography. Books, orders and characters. Comic characters. Mathematics. Sir, birds. Okay, I think we have our five each. Who goes first? to answer, and who goes into our sequestered room? We'll do that in the old-fashioned way by flipping a coin. Who will call heads or tails? Who will call? So heads. Uh, Caleb, will you call heads or tails? Only after I flip. Are you ready? Call. Heads. See, heads is the call, and heads it is. So, your choice. Would you like to be the first one here, or would you like to be the second and go and get The it? second one. Second. All right. Off with you then. Somebody take you to our sequestered room. Thank you very much. And Vihan, we'll begin with you. Now, there's no time limit on this one, yet I do request you to be fairly swift with your spellings. And of course, you can resort to assists if you wish. I have those as well for any word. You can ask for part of speech, origin, meaning, or usage, if you so wish. Sure, sir. Or for me to repeat the word. Let's go with the themes as they were selected in order and the words. The first word is bureaucracy. May you repeat the word? Bureaucracy. May I have it used in a sentence? Politicians may win elections and become ministers, but real power to change the system lies with the bureaucracy, with its officers and executives who take care of the day-to-day -day running of the government. Bureaucracy. B E R E A U C R A C, Y. The next word from food and drink. Quinoa. Sorry? Quinoa. Quinoa, okay. May I have the meaning of the word? Yes, it's the protein rich seeds of a plant from the Andean mountains of South America. Quinoa. Can you use it in a sentence? Although an exotic Latin American staple, quinoa 
has very quickly become popular in India with all kinds of Indian recipes adapted to include the super green called quinoa. Quinoa. C I N N O I. Well attempted. From science, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. F A H R E N H E I T. The next word. Alliteration. A double L I T E R A T I O N. Oh, that was swift. You like language, don't you? Antarctica. A N T A R C T I C A. And you like geography as well. Well done. Books authors. Lewis Carroll. Sorry? Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll. There's no meaning, okay. Uh... Would you like, uh, well, the meaning is just the name of an English author. It's a proper noun. I can give you a usage if you like, if that helps at all. It's uh, obviously the name of an author. Lewis Carroll. Lewis Carroll. L O U I S, that's Lewis. And Carroll is C A double R O double L. The next word from comic characters is Ragnarok. R A G N A R O K. Obviously, you like this comic character. It was a pretty impressive one. From mathematics, algorithm. May I repeat the word? Algorithm. A L G O R I T H M. Algorithm. Well done. Next words from the human body Cerebellum. Cerebellum. C E R E B E double L U M. Cerebellum. Very well done. And your final word out of the ten from birds. That was your selection, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Might be easy for you, we'll see. Parakeet. P A R A K E E T. Correct. And that ends your 10 words. Well done. Now, as you know, Bihan, you will have to go into our uh, sequestered room, soundproof, so that you know nothing what's going on. And your opponent here in the third round of this final, Caleb Hangra, is going to join us. Thank you very much. OK, we have Caleb back here with us. And it's time for now him to compete in this particular round. Thank you, Sanjali. The first word is from civics, the first team selected, and it's bureaucracy. So could you repeat? Bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. B-U-R-E-A-U-C-R-A-C-Y. The next word is from food and drink. Quinoa. Q-U-I-N-O-A. You snuck that in just about. All right. From science, Fahrenheit. F-A-H-R-E-N-H-E-I-T. The next word from the English language is alliteration. A-L-L-I-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N. And we're racing along, though you don't have to. There's no time limit, but from geography, which I love, Antarctica. A-N-T-A-R-C-T-I-C-A. -A -A. From books and authors, Lewis Carroll. L-E-W-I-S-C-A-R-O-L-L. -L. From comic characters, Ragnarok. R-A-G-N-A-R-O-K. From mathematics, algorithm. A-L-G-O-R-I-T-H-M. From the human body, cerebellum. You can take your time, you can ask for assistance if you wish. So the meaning of the word? The meaning of cerebellum, the part of the brain at the back of the skull which coordinates and regulates muscular activity, cerebellum. C-E-R-E-B-L-L-U-M. And your final word is from birds. Parakeet. P-A-R-A-K-E-E-T. Whoa, wow. Panchali, what a fabulous final, I must confess. I, I just know. had such a great time and these guys are so good. It was amazing. And the way he speeds with the spellings, it's amazing to watch that.
Vihan is back and Caleb is here with us on stage. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, everyone watching, come on, put your hands together for these two boys. So I have the names of the winners right here with me. Let's get our word master here on stage oh. with a huge round of applause, everyone. Thank you very Let's much. give it up for Charu Sharma. Boys, would you mind stepping forward? Oh, thank you, Sanjali. Boy, Caleb, Vihan, you guys were outstanding. Okay, I have the scores right here in front of me. I'm gonna just keep them behind. And what I usually do is, boys, can you give me a hand? Okay, and the winner is, with 80 points, the winner is leading. And the person who is the first runner-up is at 70 points. Let's give it up for Caleb, everyone! Congratulations, smile! We need to see a smile. And Vihan, you did exceedingly well. Let's give it up for Vihan as well, please, everyone. Now I would like to thank the 2,000 plus students from 125 schools that participated in the Mind Wars Spell B in the middle category. Thank you viewers as we come to the end of this exciting finale in the middle category of the Mind Wars Spell B 2022. But let me tell you, before we finish this episode, we need to get that big check and hand it over to our winner. Can we have the check here on stage, please? Whoa. And Hello. Charu, please. Congratulations. Well, ladies and gentlemen, winner of the middle category, Caleb Hanwar. Congratulations. Whoa.